slump slider exercise to increase the mobility of the sciatic nerve and even as the sciatic nerve gets up into the spinal cord, this will help out with that. So what you're gonna do is it's gonna look pretty similar to the slump slider test that we do or slump test that we do, but hands behind your back. If your shoulders are bothering you, you can just kind of put your hands down by your side, uh, but hands behind your back, you're gonna tuck your chin down, you're gonna kind of really slouch over, so really bad posture. Wouldn't, we wouldn't normally have you do this, but for this we're gonna do that. We're gonna take one toe and just kind of crank that up. And then Luke is gonna extend his knee until he feels a pull on the back of his leg. So the pull that you feel, if zero is no stretch, 10 is I'm ripping muscle off a bone. We wanna be around like a three, four, maybe a five, okay? It's gonna hold for a couple seconds, just like you did. Okay? And all you're doing is you're kind of dragging that nerve, mostly sciatic nerve, and as it splits off into peroneal, tibial nerves, much other nerves down in your feet, you're just kind of dragging that nerve back and forth. Another term for this is nerve flossing. Um, to kind of free it up from inflammation and scar tissue that has developed to help the mobility of the nerve. As the mobility of the nerve improves, then symptoms like numbness, tingling, burning, decrease in sensation, um, pain, and uh, decrease in muscle function tend to go down.